I'm gonna use my iFixit kit with uh, Philips Zero screwdriver. And let's start by removing the screw. And let's put it somewhere so we don't lose them. Okay, so that's six and two more hidden behind the kickstand. Some reasons these two are not coming out with the magnet tip of the screwdriver, but I think they are unscrewed already. Oh, okay. Okay, now we got a open this thing up and it's a bit tricky you need some kind of tool that will allow you to open the to open the plastic cover without damaging damaging the plastic which is not so easy if you don't have similar tool you might use something like a old credit card or another piece of firm plastic So it's going off pretty easily. The bottom is quite firm here. It's harder to remove. And we are done. So here is the Legion Go 2 from inside. As you can see, the system is quite different from the last time. Here we have two battery cells and cooler in the middle. And the SSD drive is under here so this plastic cover is connected to the cooler assembly and it's not removable by itself it's not removable on its own so you gotta remove it with the cooler which is not so good from the
which is not so good from user perspective, but from thermal perspective, it's quite good because they have thermal pads here for your SSD. Uh, so it's kind of, so the cooler might be helping to reduce temperature of the SSD drive. Anyway, we gotta remove three screws here. This one, that one, and that one. It's the same Phillips screws. Looks like they are interchangeable with the ones on the back, so you won't mix anything. Okay, so now comes the tricky part, because we need to we need to disconnect this connector here, and it's super and it's really hard to actually disconnect it because there is uh, not enough. Because there is no convenient way to do that and you don't want to just drag the wires because you might damage the soldering here. So I'll try to use some tool for that. Uh, I have this tool for my fix-it kit, which I'm, I will try to use to disconnect the connector. You really need to be careful with it because it's so fragile. I'm not sure why I can just make it make some kind of Add some kind of grips that you can just grab and remove it. It's moving but really, really slow. You really want to be gentle with it because you might break it. was way easier to remove it on the first Legion Go. Not sure why they choose this way. The connector is so tight. It 
and you don't have a good way to grab it. Even though this side is coming off, the rest is not. I'm pulling I'm putting enough force but still it's not coming off at all okay so finally I removed it eventually I had to pull for this thing because it wasn't coming off with this tool at all uh, not really sure what is the proper way to do it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but couldn't find the uh, couldn't find the other way. Okay, so now when the hard part is done, we just need to simply remove the batteries the whole battery thing is coming off together and we finally have access to our SSD but it's still covered by the fan so we need to remove the fan as well luckily the fan is just coming off by pulling it without it applying too much force it's coming off easily so yeah you might want to remove this connector first but I don't want to because it does but I don't want to because it it's not really getting in my way so here is the SSD I have, it's not the original one. It's two terabyte one. Okay, so I need a bigger screw for that. I need a bigger screwdriver for that. Just one much bigger. It's number one head. It's number one Phillips head. And it's gone. So now we can remove the drive. And replace it with something else. By the way, here is the original drive if you are interested.